Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is number 138, the Align Puff Stitch. This is a super easy pattern. I'll walk you step by step through it and you need a stitch multiple of two. So you would chain two, chain two again, keep chaining in multiples of two until you get your chain to the width you want. So this pattern, you can see how very pretty it is with all the different colors. Now this pattern is a four row repeat, but it's such a simple repeat because you have three rows of single crochet and then you have one row of the puff stitch single crochet. So very easy pattern. I have three samples to show you today. Now this sample was made using the Premier Basics in several of their different colors that they have available. And I'll put a link to Premier Yarns in the description box underneath the video if you want to check out those yarns. So this is the front. And when you turn it over, this is the back. Now the back does have the puff stitch, but it doesn't stick out quite as far. It's a little flatter than the front. And then this is the front. So let me show you my next sample. So my next sample is my white sample and I always like to make that white sample because I think white just makes a classic elegant looking afghan or sweater. Now this pattern is a little bit thicker. You're pulling these stitches up over the stitch below and it creates a little bit thickness to your crochet. So basically the stitch pattern if you want something nice and warm and thick, this would be perfect. It's also good if you want to make rugs. If you use double stranded or those thick yarns, you can make a beautiful rug with this pattern. So that's the front. And when you turn it over, that's the back. So I have one more sample to show you. Now the next sample was made with Premier Puzzle Yarn. Now I'm not sure which one this was because the label wasn't on it, but just beautiful with those colors in the Puzzle Yarn. You can see those puff stitches here on the side, how they raise up. So that's the front. And when you turn it over, that's the back. So this is one of those stitch patterns that I think would look good in just about any yarn, whether you use a solid color, you use one of those specialty yarns, or if you decide to change colors. Now this one, I change colors every time I did the puff stitch row. So those are our samples. So for our tutorial today, I'm using the Lion Brand Heartland yarn. This is just a beautiful color pink. I love this yarn. It comes in a five ounce, 142 grams, 251 yards, 230 meters. It's classified as a number four weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic and it's machine wash and dryable. So I am using the recommended hook size. It's calling for a J10 or six millimeter. And whatever yarn you're using, just look on the label for the recommended hook size. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get this stitch pattern started. So I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can join your yarn in whichever way you prefer. Now I want to remind everyone all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. Now this is a very simple pattern. It's a multiple of two. So we're going to make a small sample swatch. We're going to chain 12. You're going to yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop, and this creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, if you prefer to make your chain longer, you can do so. Just do it in a multiple of two. So now we're going to begin row one, and row one is a very simple single crochet row. Now when you work your first row, you can either go in the top of the chain or you can go into the back loop. For this demonstration, I'm just going into the top of the chain. We're going to skip the first chain, insert into the second chain from hook, yarn over and pull through. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a single crochet. You're going to single crochet into the next chain. 
single crochet into the next chain and continue and work one single crochet in each chain across to the end of the row. I'm over at my last chain, I'm going to insert into the last chain, work a single crochet. At the end of row one, you're going to have one less stitch than your starting chain. We chain 12, so you should have a total of 11 single crochet stitches. Now row one is going to be classified as the wrong side of your work. Row two will be classified as the right side of the work. We're going to begin row two and we're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one, insert under the top two loops of that first stitch, work a single crochet. Now we're going to work our puff stitches. To work our puff stitches, we're going to the base of the next stitch. So here is your next stitch and we're going to insert underneath the stitch down here on the foundation chain. So let's begin our repeat and work our puff stitch. You're going to yarn over, you're going to come to your next stitch, drop down to the base of that stitch, insert into that chain, yarn over and pull back through and pull up. You're going to have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to come back and go back into that same space underneath that stitch, yarn over and pull through. So now when you look at your work, you're going to have a total of five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, come back down into that same space, yarn over and pull through. So now when you look at your work, you're going to have a total of seven loops. You're going to yarn over, but you're only going to pull through six loops on your hook. You're going to have two loops remaining, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. You're going to single crochet into the top of the next single crochet stitch. Insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, go to your next stitch, drop down to the base of that stitch, insert right into that chain or the base of the stitch, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through six loops only. You have two loops remaining, yarn over and pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. You're going to single crochet into the top of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's work across the row together. We're going to do the repeat again. Yarn over, insert into the base of that next stitch. Just go to the stitch, drop down right at the base of the stitch, insert into that chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through six loops only. Yarn over and then pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. You're going to single crochet into the top of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how your pattern is forming and you can see those puff stitches. So we have two repeats to go. So let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, go to your next stitch, drop down to the base of the stitch, insert into that foundation chain right below that stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You now have five loops. 
yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through six loops only. Then yarn over and pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. Single crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then we have two stitches remaining, so we have one repeat to go. You're going to yarn over, go to your next stitch, drop down to the base of the stitch, insert into that foundation chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops, yarn over and pull through six loops only. You have two loops remaining, yarn over and pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. You end the row by working a single crochet into the last stitch. And remember, always go under those top two loops of the stitch. Row two is finished. Now we're ready to begin row three. To begin row three, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one, insert into that very first stitch under the top two loops, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. And if you're not sure where your stitch is, just turn your work towards you and you can see the teardrops in the top of those stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm over at the end of row three. I have one stitch remaining right here and I'm going to insert into the last stitch and work a single crochet. Row three is finished. So now we're ready to begin row four. For row four, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one, insert into the top of that first stitch, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row four. Now each row is going to have the same stitch count of 11 stitches. So now we're ready to begin row five. For row five, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one, insert into the first stitch, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row five. You should have a total of 11 single crochet stitches across and we worked one single crochet in each stitch. So now we're ready to begin row six. For row six, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip that beginning chain one, insert into the very first stitch, work a single crochet. So now we're going to begin our repeat working our puff stitch row. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go to the next stitch and drop down to the base of the stitch and go right into the space right at the base of that next stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, insert into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through six loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. You're going to single crochet into the top of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, go to your next stitch, and you're going to go right to the base of the stitch 
and you're going to insert right at the base. Insert from front to back, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops, yarn over, pull through six loops only, yarn over and then pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. Single crochet into the top of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see that your puff stitches are lining right on top of the one three rows below. So let's do the repeat again. Yarn over, go to your next stitch, go right to the base of that stitch, insert from front to back, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, insert into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through six loops only. You have two loops remaining, yarn over and pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. Single crochet into the top of the next stitch. We have two repeats to go. You're going to yarn over, go to your next stitch, drop down to the base of that stitch, insert from front to back underneath that stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops, yarn over and pull through six loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. Single crochet into the next stitch. So we have one repeat to go and you're always ending the last repeat in the last stitch. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. You're going to yarn over, go to your next stitch, drop down to the base of the stitch, insert from front to back, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops, yarn over and pull through six loops only. Yarn over and then pull through two loops. Your puff stitch is made. You're going to end the row by working a single crochet into the top of that last stitch. Row six is finished. So now to continue working on your practice swatch, you're going to repeat row three through six for the pattern. So again, to continue working this pattern, you're going to repeat row three through row six. If you need additional help, just click back on the video. Now with this pattern, you can change colors every time you do the puff stitch row like I did and use a base color, or you can choose one of those specialty yarns like the Premier Puzzle yarn, or you can make this pattern with a solid color. It's all up to you. If you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. Now remember, I have over 200 Stitch of the Week patterns available for free on my website, creativegrandma.net. Just go to the banner that says Stitch of the Week, click on that, and then it'll take you to the Stitch of the Week page. And all you have to do is scroll down to the stitch pattern you want, and then click Click on the name of the stitch to open the file and you can download it or print it immediately. It's a great way to follow along with my video tutorials and it's a great way to start your own pattern library. So print one or print them all for your convenience. So thank you again everyone for stopping by today and until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.